This is American pop artist Jim Rizzi standing in front of a painting of his iconic buildings. Let's take a closer look at one of his paintings. See how he brings to life the city using bright colors and the happy smiling faces on the buildings as well as the people down below. We're going to go ahead and draw our own Jim Rizzi painting. We're going to start off with a black crayon and draw out the outlines of the buildings. Now, remember, in the painting we just saw, the buildings did not look like your typical skyscrapers that are just straight lines and, and all windows and everything. These buildings have character to them. They look like faces. They look like, they, look like they could be in a comic book or an animated film or something. Um, don't forget to add the sun. With, the, with a happy smiley face. Now my buildings are going to have faces here, drawing in the windows. Um, you can draw other symbols in there as well, like a heart. Um, don't forget like clouds. And then we're once you have this all drawn in, we're going to draw this with crayon because then we'll color it in with marker. And we're going to actually turn this into kind of like a watercolor painting technique. So finish drawing all this in with a crayon, drawing in the clouds. All right, now I'm going to come back with my markers and I'm just going to color loosely um, throughout the painting. You don't have to color it in all completely solid because like I said, we're going to create this into kind of like a watercolor painting look. So I'm coloring this loosely. I colored with the red first and then the orange. Because the sky in the painting we saw just, just a bit ago, um, it was not blue like you normally see the blue sky. The sky in that painting was reds and oranges. The warmer colors looked really nice. So um, It also adds to the character of the painting. Now we're going to see how I'm making the buildings all nice and bright and colorful. All right, now I've, I've, I've finished coloring all that in, and as you can see, I'm just taking water and adding it to my brush and painting it over um, where I have the marker. You don't want to paint sections that are right next to each other touching. Um, like, I painted that orange building, and now I'm painting in the... Um, the windows of this building, because if I paint it in the yellow part, then the colors would end up starting to run into each other because um, the water will run into each other and, and, and just kind of blend it. And we don't want that, so let's just color in segments that are not touching, and then we'll let those sections dry. We'll go back and color in other sections. So notice the blue one really isn't touching, the blue building is not touching the orange building. So I colored in the orange building, I colored in the windows of the yellow building, then I co colored in the blue building. Now I'm going into the windows of the purple building. And that way I'm not doing anything that touches um, while they're still wet. Now I'm going to go back, this, is, this happened a little bit later, I'm going back to color, to paint in, uh, again, just wa using water, I'm painting in the um, the yellow building and now I can do the windows of the orange building and I'm going to save the background the sky till the very end do that very last because that actually is probably touching most everything in the whole picture so if I do that last and I know that everything else is dry, I'm not going to run into that problem of the colors bleeding into each other. Look how bright and happy this picture is becoming already. Now this, this painting, kind of like watercolor technique using the markers is really great when you have markers that are starting to run out and, and dry up. You don't need much of the marker color on your paper to be able to spread it out like this, like the watercolor. So you, you don't have to worry about it being solid.
colored in solid color. Here I'm just blending all the rest of the background. Giving it that nice warm feel. And there we have it. Almost finished. My happy street inspired by Jim Rizzi.